All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and uh, share the link with whoever you wish. And don't forget to download the video right after we finish. And if you like our video, please give it a like. If you don't like it, don't forget to give it dislike. For sure, if you are a Muslim, you will not like this video. Now, I saw somebody um, making a post saying that Islam make a lot of sense. So I wanted to uh, do a little comment about that. And maybe later in the broadcast, uh, which is going to be afternoon in U USA time, New York time, we will go into the details. When a Muslim, he says that uh, Islam make a lot of sense. I can't tell. I mean, look, in the day of resurrection, Allah will display in front of us billions of women. And he will ask us, pick up whatever you wish. I mean, that make a lot of sense. Allah is a God who is a, a vendor of sex. He have a display and he will provide us with all the options of women. He will say, look, do you see all those millions and millions of women? Pick up whatever you wish. In the day of resurrection, he will be asked to choose any of the version of his liking. And I have to confess, Islam make a lot of sense. So if I pray to a God, if I believe in that God, then in the day of that God, he will have billions of women in the front of me. He say, hey, Christian Prince, pick up whatever you wish. And then I will start picking up and I will bring the trucks after trucks after trucks and I will shuffle them all to my house. I mean, that is really making a lot of sense. We cannot deny that. If you deny that, obviously you are suffering from mental issue. When a Muslim speak about Islam, makes sense. Does that include that in the heaven of Allah, the virgin, they will be cursing my wife and earth if she hurt me? The Prophet of Allah said, whenever a woman harm her husband, mm -hmm. yeah, what will happen? Her husband in this world, uh huh, without a do right. Ah, you can harm your husband in a do right. Ah, okay. I thought only Muslim man can beat his wife. His wife among the Huris, uh huh, in the Jannah, uh huh, she will say, You must not harm him. May Allah destroy you. May Allah destroy you. He's only. He's only passing there. He's a guest for you. He's coming here to me. Mm -hmm. So my wife in earth, she did something wrong with me. My wives in heaven, who I do not know them, they are just for sex. She will be cursing my wife. And she will say to her, shame on you. Shame on you to harm my husband. He's just there as a guest. May Allah curse you. May Allah make you falafel. <laughs> well, that's so good and that make a lot of sense hmm. by the way she is saying that to who if nobody can hear her anyway she's talking to herself in the mirror and this wife now in the heaven she is waiting there for thousands and thousands of years waiting for me I mean when the judgment they will be Muhammad he died 1400 years ago so a guy who his wife harmed him in the time of Muhammad, his wife until now, she is waiting for him after 1400 years in her room and she is jailed. Remember the Quran says that they will be restrained in their rooms and they cannot see anyone. Make a lot of sense. Hmm. What make? What makes sense more than Islam? I mean, we have to be Honest here. The Prophet said, because the Prophet he encouraged peace, he loved peace. This is why he asked the Muslim to shed their blood. The murder has six things in a store. What? The murder, like Osama bin Laden, he has six things in the store with Allah. Mm -hmm. 
he is forgiven from the first drop of his blood is shed what so I can do whatever I want and then because I I got killed fighting for Muhammad all my sin is gone so Muhammad is saying to me in exchange of your life we will forgive you just die for me and that makes sense Muhammad himself he don't want to die for you you die for him you die for Muhammad you get all your sin forgiven a promise in the future which nobody will see and then the second he die Allah will show him his place in the heaven like right away let me show you your apartment a brother Osama let me show you your apartment in heaven and then after that he is a, sp a, a, a spirit of the torment of the grave and here is different story it makes sense that Islam believe that when you go to the grave there's two angels will come and they will have to uh, will have with them a hammer and the hammer is made from steel and they will ask you three questions first who is your God you say Allah huh? you pass this one then they ask you what is your religion then you say Islam huh? you pass this one and they will show you a picture of the Prophet Muhammad they will ask you who is this guy you will say Prophet Muhammad if you answer those three questions correctly you will pass now I mean what the punishment at the grave you idiot as long as he's a Muslim and he will answer the three questions correctly. So what punishment of the grave? Hello? And then he is kept safe from the great fight. Great fight? The guy is dead. He kept safe from the great fight. And then Allah will warp him with garment made of faith. Have you ever heard of that? And then Allah, he will marry him to the Huri, the sexual gift, sex, the sex toys of Allah. I mean, that make a lot of sense. It makes sense that the first group they will enter heaven, Allah will make them very white. That makes sense not only that in chapter 27 verse number 82 if you read the interpretation you will see that Allah will make all the non-believers black and all the believers white even in the hadith in the Muhammad he says Allah created the people who they are black to go to hell and he created the white ones to go to heaven and that makes sense <laughs> what a disgusting cult the prophet said the first batch of the people who will enter paradise will be a glaring actually they will be shining from whiteness and muhammad here is saying that the first one is more shiny like a moon muhammad you think the moon is more shiny than a star as you see this is what he think that a star is not shiny like the moon read it then Muhammad he promised us in the heaven that in this heaven we will have women who we can't they are so white because those Arab and I am an Arab we know they are obsessed with women who they are so white so Muhammad he knew what the Arab like so he promised them women you can see through the marrow of their bones as you see you will see they are white to the point beautiful beautiful transparent what make them transfer because so white you know a white a very white person you can see the vein under his skin the more white you are even we can see the blood that is not a secret so Muhammad saying to them because they are so white even to the point you are they are going to be transparent to the point you can see the marrow of their bones being seen through the bones and the flesh and if you think about it that make a lot of sense I mean, why not? All of us would like to have this. Who don't? Let us be honest. Who can resist this gift of God? 
We cannot. All of us, we want to have this. This is not something we can resist. It makes sense. It makes sense that Muhammad, he said, that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and if the woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. It makes sense that the reason you resemble your parent, a man or a woman, who, uh, who of them comes first. It makes sense that Muhammad, he said, that the sperm stay inside the women for 50 days. It makes sense. It makes sense that in the heaven of Allah, we are going to be sitting in a couch. The translation here is throne. The fact it doesn't say throne, it say actually beds. We will be laying down in our beds. And those beds are ranks together. Hmm. And we will make them have sex <coughs> with females who they are very white. <coughs> makes sense. It makes sense that we will have as much meat to eat as we wish. I mean, come on. Allah have an open buffet. That make a lot of sense. And this is a clear proof that Allah must be God. Otherwise, how he can afford it to feed all those people meat and fruits as much as you desire. It makes sense that you will drink wine, but you will not get drunk. It makes sense that around us in heaven, we will have 80,000 little boys serving us. 80,000 little boy. It makes sense. It is show the hadith so the Muslims <coughs> will not say we are making things up. <coughs> Excuse me. The least of people of paradise in position is the one with 80,000 servants. But those servants are what? They are boys. 80,000 servant they are boys it makes sense and you are telling me Islam does not make sense the God of Islam he teach that in his heaven we have a child abuse that makes sense so in order to make me happy you abuse 80,000 little boy and that's all to make me happy 80,000 little child will be enslaved for eternity and they will go around me to serve me as the Muslims claim, not for sex. But I believe it is for sex. What kind of God he want to abuse 80,000 little one to serve me doing what? What 80,000 little boy will serve me to do? What exactly I will do with them? Especially the Muslim, they say, and we can show tons of reference, that in heaven, if you wish something is going to be in the front of you right away without servants. If you look at the bird flying in the sky, you see, subhanAllah, the bird will be cooked and served in the front of you. Not the servant will bring it. In the heaven of Allah, you will never get dirty. You will never need a clothes because your clothes will never be ruined. You will wear green silk forever and you will never take a shower. So what the servant for? There's no garbage, there's no poo poo, there's no piss. So, what the servant will do? It makes sense, my friend. Islam makes a lot of sense. It makes sense that the size of your bedroom is the distance from Damascus in Syria all the way to Yemen. It makes sense. <coughs> It makes sense that Allah will torture people by inserting a chain in their anus. That makes a lot of sense.
for sure we have to admit that Islam makes sense it makes sense my friend that in the heaven of Allah all of us we will be wearing a green clothing for eternity it makes sense that the heaven of Allah at the end of the time it's called Adan Eden I thought Eden is gone Allah is mixing things up it makes sense that in the heaven of Allah we are going to wear a bracelet of gold I cannot wait by the way in different verse Allah he says we will wear a bracelet of silver because Muhammad he forgot what he promised before it makes sense that you are desperately looking to go to heaven and in the heaven you will wear a bracelet of gold what is the value of gold in heaven what is the value and what kind of a clothing how boring it is that I will wear a breast of gold sitting in a couch and I will be wearing a green garment made of fine silk which is made in Iran you see the translation here is not really accurate in Arabic it says was this word here is a fabric made in Iran in the time of Muhammad and it was very expensive it's like today promising somebody I will give you Gucci I mean it makes sense that Allah he gave us a brand cloth how silly how stupid God he promised me Gucci can't he make his own brand at that time the Iranian they were kuffar so Allah will take a from the kuffar from the infidels and he will give it to me from them how silly the God he promised me I will be reclining on my couch that's amazing that's so good to be true it makes sense that every one of us would have two heavens every one of us will have two heaven and in the heaven we will have palm trees and we will have a grape no coconut sorry and no banana I know some of you is disappointed Muhammad he never heard about the coconut never heard about the banana otherwise he will make a song and he will add it to the Quran it's called banana Joe it makes sense I am truly convinced that Islam make a lot of sense It makes sense that the Quran says the women have a sperm coming from the location of her necklace and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and my backbone is hurting me that makes sense it makes sense that Allah don't remember which one he created first first the water the trees the grass or the stars it make a lot of sense it makes sense that Allah he want to spread hatred and enmity specifically between the Christians because Allah is a good God Allah want to save us how he save us he spread hatred and enmity that make a lot of sense that will fix us supposedly will make us better people by spreading hate between us that makes sense so if Allah spread the hatred who is the devil It makes sense that Islam is peace, but Allah forbid Muslims from taking Christians and Jews as a friends, which means they have to take us as enemies. Chapter 5, verse number 51. As an example, that makes sense. Islam is peace. Take not the Christians and the Jews as a friends, protectors, helpers, etc. For they are friends to each other and the one of you who take them as a friend he is one of them a pure teaching of hate and division so a Muslim now he cannot take me as a friend because he have always to take me as an enemy and what is the reason I'm a Christian 
it makes sense it makes sense that a Muslim cannot even take his own father and brother as friends if they are not Muslims that make a lot of sense chapter 9 verse number 23 pure hatred and disgusting it makes sense that the God of Islam he teach us that women are less than us and therefore we are in charge because we spend money from our property on them therefore it is right for us to beat them if they disobey us you know what in America if you beat a dog you go to jail does it make sense to you that American giving more right to women oh sorry to dogs more than right to women in Islam men are protectors of and maintainers of women because Allah made one of them excel on the others and because they spend eh, their money to support them ah so I spend money on you I own you you are my slave from their means therefore righteous women is the one devoted obedient to Allah and their husband and guard has been abstinence what Allah ordered them to guard okay as those women whose part you see ill conduct now here the Muslim by the way they might say to you what if your wife is a cheating a woman she is a cheating Islam if she is married the punishment is a stoning this is not about a cheating stop lying and you can go and open any interpretation you will see this is about a woman you fear that she is maybe this you like you say to her make some tea for me and she say okay sound like she is not really excited to do it for you then you beat her admonish them and look the Muslim try to make it nice they say first they say next they say third it's a big fat lie and then they add lightly what a big fat lie Nowhere in the Quran says lightly. Actually, Muhammad, a woman, she came to him. Her husband, he did beat her until her skin became a greener than her clothing. What Muhammad did? He took the side of the man against her, and actually he gave him this verse. If you change the translation of the verse right away, and I'm talking about translation between two Muslims, look what happened. All the first, the second, the third disappear, and all the lightly disappear, and we have here what? Scourge them. And it makes sense, by the way, that Muslims don't give an honest translation because the point of the English translation of the Quran is deception. That makes sense. What else makes sense in Islam? It makes sense that Allah will punish you in the grave because of your urine. That makes sense. Have you ever heard of a God who will torture you in the grave because of your urine? That makes a lot of sense. Watch your urine. Your urine can be really very painful for you. You will pay a very high price for it. Actually, I uh, made a surgery, so I will never do urine. I'm downloading urine these days, just for security and safety. I don't want to go to the grave, and then I will be tortured because of urine. You see, Muhammad had no problem that he have sexual relationship with the child, and his God will not torture him for that, but his God will torture him for urine. And it makes sense that Muhammad married Aisha at the age of six, and the Muslim they say she was mature. That makes a lot of sense. I heard that Aisha she was dating at the age of four. Some they say that Aisha she was joining Facebook at the age of two. And she was flirting with men at the age of two and one day. It makes sense. It makes sense that a person who is 54 years old, he have a sexual desire to a child like Umu Habiba, which was an infant. 
It makes sense. It makes sense that Muhammad, he said, that in the heaven of Allah, Allah will give us a lot of women for sex, and not only that, our private part will never go soft. That makes a lot of sense. It makes sense that Allah will import from the heaven hookers. Allah will import 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell. What is the qualification of those 70? They have a desirable front passages. I mean, come on, that make a lot of sense. They have nice boobs, knife, uh, <clears throat> a nice uh, bum. I mean, come on, I'm not going to give you details. Allah will import from the hookers. This is why they are people of hell because they are professional insects. He will take them from hell. And he will send them to you. He say, "Hey, Abdul, brother, Osama bin Laden. Those are your gift from me. I took them from hell for you. They are very good in bed, and all of them they have a very desirable front passages. In the top of that, it makes sense. Allah, He promised us, you will have a male member that will never become flaccid. Imagine you are." buying you you know you you own a four-wheel drive and jeep and then you have four tires who they are flat that's not good allah will provide you with the private part i'm just trying to be polite not to use that word and your private part will be like boing all the time you will never be disappointed and here between two bracket the muslim that are trying to help us to understand if in case we are slow i.e. soft and limp thank you Allah I was worried to go to heaven and then I got a private part which is soft and limp and yet there's hundreds of women they want to jump on me what I will do then that's very embarrassing what tell them come tomorrow tell them I'm busy with the internet what excuse I will do I have I have 80,000 little boys serving me food is ready and I am doing nothing in heaven and now they want to sleep with me, but yet this guy is not working Don't worry be happy So my friend we have to agree that Islam make a lot of sense I Wanted this video not to be long so you guys you can download it share it around and we will be back on air at 3 30 p.m. Today Afternoon in New York time. So invite your friends and tell them and we will be here later I want to say thank you for being here guys. Please don't forget to download this video share it around Don't share the link download the video This video will not stay here for long and if you like to learn more about Islam Especially what we mentioned about sexuality you can get my books six and Allah Which is a very 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 priceless book have tons and tons of reference about sexuality in Islam, which is nothing really but religion about sex. Or you can read many of my books, which is in Amazon.com or that France, depend on your location. Search for Christian Prince books and you will find many of them in many languages Spanish, French, Dutch, uh, Swedish, you name it. I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you later again today. Christ is Lord and only thing makes sense that you have to be stupid to believe in nonsense like Islam thank you take care